All right, guys, well, it's Sunday, and you know what that means when there's no football. It's Poker Sunday, and it's a special Poker Sunday because it's Meetup Game Sunday at Horseshoe Casino in Baltimore. We got Close to Broke, and Alexander Wolfgang Poker is going to be there. They're both in from the uh, West, and we're going to meet up with them and uh, meet a bunch of uh, fans and people who watch the channel, and I'm pretty pumped. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get down there. What's up guys, it's me, Tony G, coming to you from the poker room at Horseshoe Casino, Baltimore. This is episode 156 of my poker vlog. If we're filming in the poker room and they know it, you know it's gotta mean one thing, we're at a meetup game, close to broke, Wolfgang Poker. As you can see, we got a bunch of tables going already. We're here, meetup game, we're already in it, and wanted to film an intro from inside the poker room, which doesn't happen too often. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the episode. All right guys, real quick, before we get into the episode, if you happen to be new here, do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe buttons. It helps me out and helps the channel and the algorithm out a lot. I do appreciate it. And if you happen to be uh, not new here, thanks for coming back. As usual, I appreciate the support. And uh, wearing the new Never Tilted shirts along with the uh, Felt Life cap. Going all out today, got the card protectors for the meetup game. Had a couple guys ask me for one or two of them, so I brought some with me. But if you want, go in the description down below and grab them on my uh, merch shop. And again, I appreciate the support. Let's get back to the episode. Okay, in the first orbit here, I'm in middle position with Ace Jack. It gets to me, I make it $11 to go. We go three ways to the flop, and the flop is eight, six, nine, rainbow. It checks to me, and I check, and it checks to the turn. The turn is the seven of diamonds. This time it checks, I check, and then the cutoff throws out a bet of $25. The under the gun folds, and I felt like I was decent here, so I decided to call to see what the next card is. So I call, and the river is the two of diamonds. Unfortunately, I only have one diamond, so I don't get there with the flush, obviously. I check, and he throws out a bet of $40. And I do think about it for a hot second, but I just can't call that. He probably has a 10 in his hand for the straight, and we're gonna be no good there. Okay, about an orbit later, we have the premium hand of Ace, King, and the small blind. The button makes it $15, and with Ace, King, I'm not having that at a meetup game. It gets over to me, and I decide on just a min three bet to 30, and we're three ways to the flop, which is four, seven, deuce with two diamonds. I'm the first to act and decide to throw out a bet of 30, and only the middle position calls. So we're heads up to the turn, which is the deuce of clubs. I don't think it changes anything, but I wanted to check to see what he would do. And he checks it back. So we're off to the river, which is a great card for us. It's the king of hearts. We've got top, top, and 
I decide I want to bet a $45 this time. He thinks about it, but pretty quickly calls, and I flip over and show him the bad news, and we'll take it down this uh, little over $200 pot here. All right, guys, mid-session update. We're doing pretty good. We're up about 200 or 225, something like that. Vloggers are here. Been here about an hour and a half, almost two hours now. I say to my, my buddy Karen, now we're, now we're best friends, right? I mean, Tony G is right here, one of the most famous close. Lithuanian ambassadors, governors <laughs> of the game. Definitely Lithuanian, close yes. to bro. Go check his channel out. It's gonna be in the description down Thank below. Thank you so much. Appreciate you coming by. Reach out to Tony G, a gentleman and scholar. I try. I love playing with him. Good for the game and good for poker. Absolutely. Appreciate Thank it, man. Guys. Thank you, brother. Okay, on the button again with Kings, premium hand here. Middle, middle position makes it $12 to go. Gets to me and I make it 30, and we're three ways to the flop, which is jack, ace, four, with two spades. It checks to the turn, which is the king of hearts. Bang! As Wolfgang says, we hit a set. The uh, middle position bets 40. The cutoff calls, and it gets to me, and I'm thinking, okay, does somebody have aces here and is trying to trap with a set of aces, which obviously is going to beat me, but... I have second best set, which is basically the second nuts, but I decide to raise it up to 80 to see where I'm at, and believe it or not, the middle position thinks about it, but ultimately decides to fold, and the cutoff, who's Rodrigo, I've played with him before, what's up Rodrigo, he's a fan of the vlog, appreciate it, he thinks about it some more, and decides to go ahead and call the raise to $80. So now we are heads up to the river. The river is the nine of spades. And he checked to me. I asked him how much he has left because I didn't see that much. I think it's only about $22. So I just say all in. And he says, well, you probably got me, but I'm already committed. So I'm going to donate to you. And I show him the bad news after he calls. And uh, he mucks his cards and will take down the spot. One the only. Alex, Wolfgang, Poker, Tony G410, Wolfgang, appreciate you coming by Baltimore. And I uh, hope you guys come back again. You guys need to subscribe to this guy. I'd watch uh, this. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Same thing here. Link in the description down below for him and Karen. Close to broke. Wolfgang Poker. Let's get it going. Let's go. Take it easy. Yeah. Okay, I feel pretty decent about how I played this hand. I have 7 9 uh, suited here in middle position. I limp in. I, I know. Whatever. We are four ways to the flop. And the flop is king, eight, ten with two clubs. It checks over to uh, me, and I throw out a bet of ten dollars. But it gets raised up to thirty, and I call, and the big blind calls. The turn is the jack of clubs. I didn't really like that card because it was a club, but the... Uh, big blind checks, and I check, and the cutoff bets 25. So all of us, again, call. So we're off to the river here, which gets worse. It's the queen of clubs. I don't know if I'm going to call anything at this point, but they make it pretty easy, and basically get it all in. Is a $55 bet, and then an all-in for 150 or something. I check my cards, and yeah, obviously, I'm not calling it. I let it go and show the board, and yeah, a guy has a club. All right, in this hand, I get into it with the guy who had been bluffing all day with junk cards. 
and it comes back to bite me in the ass, so you know how this hand's gonna go. But we're in the big blind, I have ace-10, gets back to me, and I decide to make it $16 to go, and the under the gun or the under the gun plus one, who the, the bluff the guy has been bluffing all day, he calls. So we are heads up to the flop, and the flop is 10, queen, five with two spades. Obviously, I have second pair there. And I check, and he looks at his cards and says, check is good. So, all right, we check it over to the turn. The turn is the two of hearts. Now, this time, I probably should have bet up a little bit higher, but I threw out a bet of $15. And he thinks about it for a good 15 or 20 seconds, and he actually raises. And he paused, and the dealer goes, you said raise, what are you going to raise it to? And he says, oh, I'm sorry. He says, I, I got confused for a second. Yeah, I raise, raise it to 45. And I don't know what that was all about, but eh, it's okay. I decided to call. I felt like I was good here because he'd been bluffing. But So the river is the six of spades. This time, I throw out a bet of $50. And he says, raise again. But this time, I'm going all in. I asked for a count, and it's like another $75 or $70 more. He flips over, pocket deuces. Again, he was playing crappy hands. And, uh, yeah, we're going to walk away down a little bit. We lost a couple hands after that. 30 here, $50 there. But, yeah, that's the end of the session. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did... Make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. And I'll see you in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life. As long as you're living the felt life.